done one more today, oh. okay? This is the command up. So the Canines in the Classroom program is a course in which students are matched with dogs um, in order to train them to become service dogs for people with disabilities. That's what, what your timing is, right? So up, pause there, yes, and then you can tell them how good he is. Now, <laughs> we're actually giving these students a job and all the responsibilities of any job are right there before them in their school classroom. So um, they learn to leadership skills, they learn to be responsible, and they, they're, they have really a feeling of self-accomplishment because they're training this puppy or dog to help somebody who has a disability. And they're focused and everything becomes relevant because it's important for their job. I thought the program was gonna be like, you have to take care of a dog like 100% and you have to do everything with it because I never took care of a dog before. So having a dog in class is actually fun for me to experience stuff. Good, yes. First day I came to class was pretty like weird because there's a whole bunch of dogs in the class, right? So I didn't know what to expect on my first day, but it was pretty good. Yes. Good. So, be thinking what you want to expect for your dog to get a yes out of you. What do they need to do? Okay? Each dog's different at a different stage. You've all worked already with them. Figure out what stage that is and what you're expecting them to do for a yes. They get matched, they will help uh, like people in need like open doors, pick up things that they've dropped, like say they dropped their glass or something on the ground. Then the dog will eventually pick them, like get to pick them up and take them to the owner. And they just help out and also just for people who just need a buddy. That's it, that's it. Oh. Yes. Getting to spend all this time growing with the dogs and stuff like that and seeing their progress and my own progress. It's going to help me with my goal of becoming a vet because I'll just have all that knowledge and all that experience. Hey, baby. When a dog helps someone like with a disability and you're making their life a lot easier by, help, by training a dog to help them. Them, like to keep them like on one side, try to keep them out of everybody's way, and like kind of teach them like uh, to leave it if they see food on the floor. Writing a thank you letter, communicating with somebody about the training of the dog, all these things help their, their general skills and they become more employable and also contributing citizens in our society. Well, I've learned leadership skills more and like talking more. Leadership skills like coming out and actually doing something. Like you gotta lead the dog around and not be pulled by the dog. Three, two, one. Release. Release. Well, as a vice principal, we uh, do a lot of planning with the COPE program uh, in order to make sure that uh, we can both share the facility and, uh, and it's been an excellent program for us here at Nantire. 
Uh, it's really special to have the students with the dogs. Uh, sometimes you'll see them walking through and doing some training in the hallways, and, uh, and that's special for everybody, not just the students who are involved directly with the program. Come on, girl. Come through. It's a fabulous program because it brings a lot to the schools. Um, students who become part of that program uh, have a lot of benefits and I've seen some incredible changes in students because of their involvement with the COPE program. The thing about learning is that everyone's going to learn better if they're engaged and uh, the puppies are very engaging to students. Um, so whether it's in a literacy program or whether it's in when the student's doing training directly with the doc, it's a very engaging context for the student. Um, so you know the headphones that were in their ears, the cell phone when they were trying to text their friends, uh, all that kind of takes uh, goes back on the back burner because they're focused on meeting the needs of the dog that they're working with. So it is a meaningful context for students in the classroom. And you know, that can really make for some meaningful, impactful learning that you know, is transformational for the students. Yes, they're training a dog to become a service dog, but they're also connecting. They're kind of going through a cycle. They're connecting with something. They are then exploring, then they're practicing, then they're mastering, and then they're being recognized. Just the way that you bond with a dog and that it's a good companion just to hang around. These dogs are bred to be nice and calm, and you actually need quite a bit of excitement and arousal to bark, or for a dog to bark. So Nathan's going to work really hard, and we're going to see the training process for this very calm dog. All right, Cope's, Cope give me self-assurance. I see my dog's eyes and my eyes gather. I know fun, fun way sees my beautiful eyes and knows I I am a good trainer. Okay, I just, I, I could say tons about each of you, but I'm gonna keep it very short and tell you what I appreciate about each of you. Hi, my name is Julia Hache, and I'm a grade 10 student at Antire. I chose to be in the COPE program, not only because I get to play with an adorable COPE dog every day, but because I know when I'm training my dog that I'm helping my dog become one step closer to being able to help someone in need.